Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to make super simple creamy um, corn in the slow cooker. I'm making a half batch today, so I'm gonna put about a pound of corn in my slow cooker here. We usually make a lot of this because my family really loves it, so um, usually I make twice this much, but today I'm just gonna make this little bit because um, it's just the three of us eating dinner and we're gonna grill a turkey, so we are gonna have plenty of other food to eat. So we've got the pound of corn. I'm gonna add four ounces of cream cheese here and a half a stick of butter. My friend Jerry Ellen from Cooking with Neighbors is doing a whole month devoted to um, slow cooker recipes. She's calling it Crocktober since it's October. And I've been looking for a chance to join in the fun, but it just really hasn't worked out this month. The timing's been kind of bad. Um, I've got some great, slow cooker recipes that we love, like um, slow cooker honey sesame chicken. I was thinking about doing slow cooker beef and broccoli, but it's been a crazy busy month. So um, I thought I would keep it easy and do this corn. It's always nice to have a side dish like this, especially like if you're gonna do a holiday meal and your um, oven is full of other things or you need to bring something somewhere else. It's nice to have a side dish you can do right in your slow cooker. So. As you can see, I added a little bit of salt and pepper to our butter and cream cheese. And then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of sugar to um, accentuate the sweetness of the corn. If you don't wanna accentuate the sweetness and you'd rather go savory, you can finish this off with Parmesan cheese at the end instead, or you can do both. Either way is good. All right, so I've got my slow cooker on high here. We're gonna let that go for an hour, then we're gonna give it a stir and we're gonna cook it for another hour after that. So I will show you what it looks like in a little bit. Okay, so it's been an hour. We're gonna give this a quick stir. Everything's already good and melty. So we'll let this cook for about another hour and then it'll be ready to serve. You can always hold it for a while on warm if you want. But as you can see, it's already creamy and delicious. All right, as you can see, it's bubbly and hot and delicious. So it might not be the fanciest side dish, but it's really delicious and really easy. It's great for a carry-in um, because all you have to do is stir it halfway through. Um, it's also great for a holiday when your oven and stove are full and you just need a quick and easy side dish that all the kids and everybody are going to love. So I hope you enjoy this creamy corn and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.